move the playhead to th uh, 30 or the beginning of your animation and type the I key to set an endpoint and hold the option key down and for the clipping you want to set a keyframe and move forward in time to the end of your animation set another keyframe and make that zero okay don't worry how that looks right now because uh, with the lighting that's coming this will all change let's go back to the foreground You'll see over time that we're going to get the skin of the pumpkin slide back. Like that. I'm going to the end of the animation and setting the out point on the foreground layer. And I'm going to add a fade in, fade out behavior. going to move this to the beginning of the animation set an endpoint for the fade in fade out open up the HUD alright I don't want it to fade in I just want it to fade out let's see how this works And as you get to the end of the animation, you should just see what looks to be the inside of the pumpkin. Okay, that worked out just fine. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and put in the candlelight. So we'll go to the library. Um, particle emitters. Pyro. And we're looking for holiday flame. I'll select Holiday Flame and click Apply. Right here. Okay. Uh, we want to move to a point in the animation where the flame appears, so I'll just bring it out here somewhere and set the end point here. And I'm going to move this over to where the flame is extended so I can position it. I'm going to get rid of these first. These aren't needed anymore. And need to bring the flame up some like that. And we're going to need to move it back in space. So we move to the perspective view, turn this around, and slide this back. Okay, it's about halfway in between. It's looking pretty good. Go back to the active view. I'll extend this out to the end of the project because it's going to go the whole length of the, till the end of the project. And go back to the beginning to the uh, say about right there about six frames in or so and we're going to add a light and again we're going to need to position the light so we go back into perspective change the angle and slide this back alright the best place for this light is going to be in front of the flame but behind the um, front of the pumpkin so we can go back to the active camera and set the endpoint for the light. We're going to drag this light down into the pumpkin group and go to the inspector. Point light is good, color is good. Move the intensity up a little just a hair. Um, right click on intensity and select randomize and then add about 45 percent and let's see what that looks like okay okay we need to brighten up that candle a little bit 
so head on over to the Holiday Flame. And let's just colors a little. global light. Okay, to save time I'm just going to put in some settings I've experimented with before. So we need the intensity up to 488, fall off start at 181. We need 12% fall off. Own angle at zero, soft edge at 19. Go over to the properties tab, X at zero, Y at 322. Thereabouts roughly, Z at 1153. rotation at minus 12.1. There we go. Okay, the next thing we can do is set this burn in overlay. It comes in at about the same time as the light. So I'm going to move here and select this and set an endpoint. I uh, want to add a fade in, fade out. not faded out and you want to set a very long fade in. Uh, that's about 300 frames. That'll be good enough. Okay, in this lighting that looks a little extreme and just a little too outlined so we're going to um, set the opacity down. And I decided that um, the blend mode was better as darken. Just a little bit softer than the hard light. I'm going to um, readjust this inner light a little bit more. Master light here. I want to change this color to a kind of a yellowish. And you'll see that the meat of the pumpkin has changed. Now it doesn't look as gray and pale. Okay. Okay, about halfway through the project, we're going to add the Happy Halloween text. So we can close this group up, add a new group. bring this down in here. Um, use the text tool and type in using a font called Buffied. It's, um, you can probably find it on the internet somewhere. And uh, 
want to scale this up. Center it. Uh, now you'll see that the master light is affecting this, so I'm going to go over to properties to lighting and turn off shading. Alright, back to the text. I want to colorize this, so with the face I want to use a gradient. And for the gradient I want to go from a dark red, kind of a dark orange, to real red, to a kind of slight orange at the end of the drip. Just drag this down into position. I don't want this to appear here. And I'll duplicate this layer and go to the properties tab. And I want to set a keyframe. I'm just going to use a Y position and just set that there. I want to go ahead about to here, set another keyframe, and go back to the previous keyframe and slide this up about to right there so that over time it's just going to do this. Okay. Now I'm going to right click on the original Happy Halloween layer and add an image mask and then I'm going to take the duplicate and drag it into the image mask so now we have the font looking like it's just dripping onto the screen just dripping down like that and I'm going to stylize this a little bit I'm going to add a filter stylize color emboss. I'm going to set the emboss to um, somewhere up there. I'm going to run the relief up a little bit and give it some dimension. There you go. And now we have this. Nice. Okay, in my original project I handled a reflection under here, but you can't use uh, Motion 4's reflection properties. Uh, it, it just won't work out. You'll have to figure out how to duplicate this layer and flip it around and rearrange things and then move it into the background. But I'll leave that as an exercise for y'all to handle.